All right, guys, um, I know that uh, I wasn't there to talk about these diagrams, and um, unfortunately, when I made this practice, I didn't think that I was going to be out for this long. So um, so I just wanted to kind of show you, uh, walk through one of these problems. So I want you to show uh, two different proportions that this diagram shows an example of, okay? So when you think of your percent proportion, remember that we have... Um, oh, we're always going to end up having percent over 100, right? And then that is representing our part over our whole. So this proportion is showing, it has two different parts it's showing. It's showing the part of 48, but it's also showing the part of 16, okay? And it says, this diagram is showing that the 48 is showing that that is 75% of the whole thing. And the 16 is showing that that's 25% of the whole thing. So there's a couple different proportion um, proportions that we could set up here based on this. So I know I'm always going to have percent over 100. So the first one I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna use this 25%. So my 25 is gonna go here. Now, in a proportion, I have to make sure that both of the sides are matching up. So when I'm seeing the 25%, I know that that has to match up with the 16. So I see that the 16 and the 25% are right next to each other there, okay? Now, the tricky thing here on this diagram is this number on the bottom has to be the whole, okay? And 48, guys, is not the whole because the whole is 100%. So what do we have to do here? We have to actually put together the 16 and the 48 to see how much total we have. So when we add those together, we actually end up getting 64 for the whole, okay? So here is one proportion that you could set up, show, showing or being shown from this diagram. Another proportion that you could set up here, make this a little bit bigger, okay? I'm gonna have my 100 because percents are always out of 100. Now, I already used this grouping, okay? The 16 is 25%. So now I'm going to use the 48 part, which is 75%. So I know the 75 because it's a percentage, it has to go over 100. And a good strategy also that you could do is just put a percent sign here, okay? Now I know that that matches with 48. 48 is the 75%, just like how 16 was the 25%, okay? When I look at this, 64 is the whole. Well, what's the whole? The whole, guys, is still 64 here. It doesn't change at all, okay? So those are two examples of proportions, and think about it as part over whole. This right here is going to be a big help on these diagrams, okay? So when you think about creating the percent diagram, like in this question, you are going to give yourself a proportion. We're going to do 100 down here, okay? Now... In our problem, we are given 20%, okay? So I know because that's a percentage, it's got to go here. Now, when I look at this, it says what number is 20% of 60, okay? So there's my, like, remember that is over of equals percent over 100, what I showed you in the video, and I think above in the video notes, okay? I see of 60, so that is my whole. So 60's gotta go down here. I don't know the is, so I'm gonna fill in an X there, okay? So here, that's my, that's my proportion setup. Now think about it in a diagram here. If I had, here's my whole, my 100%, okay? What number is 20% of 60? So 60 is my whole amount, okay? 60 is my whole amount there. And I know that I have some part of it which is 20%, okay? Now when I think about 20%, how many percentages would give me 100? So 20, 20, 20, 
20, and 20. So I need five of those little parts, okay? So I'm gonna show 20% right here, okay? And then I have 60 total. So I know that 60 is the whole bar. And I know that this whole bar is 100%. So what I need to figure out is I need to figure out this part right here. This is the part that I'm trying to solve for. I need that part of 60. I need 20% of 60, okay? So that's how I would show my diagram there.